Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Caitlyn, the Sheriff of Piltover. Caitlyn is a ranged DPS sniper champion, who is actually better suited to early victories and sieges over late game slugfests. Her exceptional range and utility make her a great choice if you really want to push for a quick game. Caitlyn's passive is Headshot. After every few shots, Caitlyn will deal bonus damage to the next minion, monster, or champion she attacks. Caitlyn charges up Headshot faster if she attacks while in Brush. Piltover Peacemaker is Caitlyn's first spell. She fires out a shot that hits enemy targets in a line, dealing reduced damage as it hits more targets. Second is the Yordle Snap Trap. Caitlyn places a trap down that triggers when an enemy champion walks over it. The trap deals damage and roots the champion in place for a short time. 90 caliber net fires out a projectile that damages and slows the first enemy it hits. Caitlyn is also pushed backwards when she fires it. Caitlyn's ultimate is Ace in the Hole. Caitlyn channels to fire out a bullet to a target enemy champion. While the bullet will never miss, an enemy champion may walk into the bullet's path and take the shot for his teammate. As a physical carry, Caitlyn can excel in all three lanes. If she takes top, she can use the brush to prep headshot. Hit minions three times within the brush and one time outside of it to prepare the attack. Using headshot to repeatedly harass enemy champions is a great way to gain dominance in lane. If you take middle, you can use the cliffs around the river to escape ganks from your enemies. In this case, you should usually wait in the brush before you jump over. Your opponents will have to commit to either side of the cliff, giving you the option of simply running or using 90 caliber net to escape. In some cases, you can prepare Yordle snap traps on the other side to make your escape even easier. The bottom lane functions like the top lane with the brush, and is especially useful if you team up with a support champion like Janna. Since Piltover Peacemaker has a channel time up front, some players resort to simply farming with the ability. But fighting against her, you should always be careful about being hit. To help with the learning curve, here are a couple shots showing her animation into the attack. Also, because it's a skill shot, you can always snipe players in the brush or across walls. Because of her exceptional range, she does really well with the lizard buff. Always make sure to fight monsters from the brush to trigger headshot more often. When chasing an enemy, you should consider how to use 90 caliber net. Generally, the slow doesn't make up for the loss in distance. Firing the net backwards will allow you to use it as a simple blink, which might be your most used option. If you're really clever though, you can fire the net forwards while you stand against a thick wall. This will allow you to slow your opponent without losing any ground. The trap has a few major uses, blocking off the paths where enemies would try to gank, shepherding your opponents when they try to attack or defend turrets, and in combination with a teammate's stun or slow. I'm going to show off some convenient trap locations while covering my recommendations for Caitlyn's build. Take Armor Penetration Marks and Quintessences, plus Mana Regeneration per level, Seals and Glyphs. Use 2109 Masteries, taking Improved Ghost and Neutral Buff Duration. Also take Cleanse to complement Ghosts so that you can escape dangerous situations. For skills, max Piltover Peacemaker first, taking 90 caliber net at level 2, but leaving it at 1 point. Level your ultimate and Yordle Snap Trap whenever you can. Finally, you want to open with Doran's Blade and a Health Potion. Rush your Berserker's Grease before taking Infinity Edge and Last Whisper. Once you've finished both, drink Elixirs of Fortitude and Agility, slowly building your last three items, Banshee's Veil, The Bloodthirster, and Guardian Angel. Let's look at this in non-ideal scenarios. Sin Zhao comes at me with a lizard buff and there's no way I'll make it into the brush. Don't panic, just wait until 90 caliber net will both slow him and send yourself to the tower. Just make sure you don't miss. Me? Miss? Not by a long shot. Yordle Snap Trap also combines well with a teammate. Here I bait Sin Zhao out since Ramus is waiting off in the side. I wait from the taunt and then I immediately drop down the trap, ensuring an easy kill. Sometimes these mechanics work together. Garen tries to fight me and then ghosts away once he realizes he's losing. I cast 90 caliber net backwards atop over the wall and then fire Piltover Peacemaker while he's still in the fog of war. In teamfights, you want to constantly cast Yordle Snap Trap. While I initially miss the trap against both Malzahar and Garen, they both end up triggering later in the battle against Garen, giving us the kill. You especially want to place them in the brush to make them harder to dodge. Additionally, always be cognizant of the battle around you. Because I'm watchful, I'm able to assassinate Teemo. 
You should always try to abuse your range by staying at the back of fights. I'm able to fish it enough that Lux tanks Ace in the hole for her big brother. Finally, as we bring down Garen, I make sure to drop a snap trap where he's reviving, giving us another easy kill. Thanks for tuning in to the Caitlyn Champion Spotlight. So get out there with your gun ready and your target marked.